quarter desk. Might you be forgetting something? Mm -hmm. Just putting it out there. Uh, inventor? You are watching TFI. So I was just about, I'd literally turned the telly on and I was about to knock out some laps in this bad boy here in F1 2018. And this monstrosity that I've got hogging up half my office. And then oh, let's go and drop the 2019 showreel. Cards on the table. There's more questions than answers in this video. <laughs> now I'm not I'm not judging, I'm not I'm not forming opinions, it's just it's just questions, and a lot of questions if I'm honest. So that's I think the very first design and manufacturing showreel that we've had, where there's been no mention, no visuals of, and no allusion to Autodesk Inventor, which to some people might be like mm -hmm. so? Well, why this raises a lot of questions is that the design and manufacturing showreel is Autodesk's for the year. It's there all over the TVs. It's it's all over market material. It's it's their flagship showreel marketing piece for that particular industry that they're involved in. And for forever, Autodesk Inventor has been their flagship manufacturing and design application. And for it to not be in that marketing piece raises a hell of a lot of questions, if I'm honest. In the 2018 showreel for design and manufacturing, which it's it's on YouTube. I'm not going to rip that off YouTube and upload that as well. Uh, this is just a quick video. Inventor was in there, albeit less than Fusion, obviously. Yeah, it was, it was more about Fusion than it was Inventor. But Inventor was still in there. There was still a, a nod to the old guard, if you, if you know what I mean. But in this one, it's just completely glaringly blatantly omitted from the entire showreel so what does that say i don't know i don't have any answers but that spawns a whole bunch of lines to look between doesn't it you can form all kinds of conclusions you can start trying to read their minds is is this just is it as simple as the videos put together by a millennial who only knows fusion 360 and all of the people checking the video are all millennials who are into Fusion 360 and the people that actually know what the flagship product actually is d didn't get involved. I don't I find, find that very difficult to believe. Or is this a higher level? Is this a high level message with much more meaning in it? I don't know. So d does it matter? Y yes, it does matter. It, it really does matter because if they have now begun to officially begin to... I'm trying to really be, be careful how I phrase this, but I don't I don't want to, I'm gonna say it even but I'm gonna start it like most people do by saying I don't want to say <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say that they're starting to phase inventor out, but damn it if it looks exactly like that's what's happening. Uh and that's that's not based off of speculation, that's based off of it not being in the design and manufacturing showreel whatsoever. So uh just thought I'd point that out. That's the thing that just happened. It, it's like, if can you imagine if Revit wasn't in the architectural showreel? It's like that. That's what this is like. It's like if 3D Studio Max was completely omitted. All footage, all data, all references to 3D Max weren't in the media and entertainment showreel. It's the same as that. That's what's just happened with the Autodesk Inventor in the manufacturing showreel. It's kind of a big deal. Is it a bad thing? <sighs> I can't say whether it's a bad thing or not. Personally, you, if you follow my channel, you know my channel is almost entirely based on Autodesk Inventor. Uh, and I'm, I've got no... I can use Fusion absolutely fine. Fusion is a spin-off of, of Autodesk Inventor. I mean, I've had no training on Fusion 360 and just without really ever using it, I can model up a full alloy wheel with curves and surfaces and everything, the lot. No problem. I can transition for it to the other. So I've got no real... You know, I'm not like that old guy clinging onto the drawing board when AutoCAD came along, but right now, Fusion's not ready to take over Inventor in all areas. It's just not. That's a fact. Fusion's great. It really is great. But it's not ready to take over from Inventor's core user base. That is a fact. And I, I'll, I will defend that and argue with anyone till the cows turn blue. It's just not. So it's a strange, it's a strange move. I'd be fine with it if Fusion was ready to start to sort of take the mantle, 
take the flag, take the sword, and begin riding into battle on behalf of Inventor. But it's just not. It's just not. But um, I just thought I'd point that out and uh, see what you reckon. But what it does show is that fusion isn't going. I mean, nobody thought it was, but it fusion's not going anywhere anytime soon. It's only really going to accelerate in its growth and its development. And uh, yeah, I should probably do more content on fusion at this rate and sort of stick my toe in it a lot more than I have been because it, it's only going to grow. It's only going to become more popular. And that show reel is a real eye opener. <laughs> it's an eye opener. Like I said, comparison. Think of Revit not being in the architectural showreel, and that's what's just happened to Inventor. Anyway, yeah, that just happened. All right, I'm gonna now go and I'm gonna sign off, drive uh, some fake cars around some fake tracks, and ponder my uh, my life decisions and career choices moving forward. I'll see you in the next one.